it going everyone? It is Liam Catterson here as we get into another episode of Charmed with episode number 10 of season 2. I think when I do this dance again next time, um, I will assess how I feel about uh, the first half of this season um, since we'll be at the halfway mark for season 2 um, for Charmed next episode. But um, yeah, we had some, well, we had a returning face in the last episode with uh, Barbus making a return uh, after we saw him last season um, and we had uh, this um, situation where Prue um, pretended to be Miss Hellfire so yeah um, it was um, a very very well not just a risky endeavor but one uh, that was very entertaining especially the chemistry between um, Prue and um, and Bane it was really really great and yeah like I said I, I liked it more than who um, Prue is currently uh, I guess pursuing in a sense with Jack so yeah but um it was great stuff last time, especially with the evolution of uh, Prue's abilities as well. So, um, yeah, um, it was a pretty, pretty solid episode last time. So why don't we get into this episode of Charms? This is episode number 10 of season two. Let's go. Listen, um, you want to grab a cup of coffee or something? Coffee? Yeah, sure. I I'd like that. Great. It seems to mean well. Although we know that Cupid can play Havoc. But, I don't know, he's- Oh! Hello, old friend. I'm out of here. He's gonna slowly and very painfully kill you. Aw, oh, shit. You're gonna wish that I had hooked your heart. So other people are to blame for the misfortune that you went through? Destroy me and everything else if you don't help me. Oh, I'm warning you, buddy. Oh, Phoebe, you gotta believe me. I know why you can't find love. I'm hey, you let go of her. Oh no. Yeah, this this does not look good, but he's uh, crying out for help. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. What was that about? I'm not sure. Hey, if only I'd bagged Mr. Creepy, we could have scored a Halliwell hat trick last night. <laughs> well, I'm not mad. I'm thrilled. For you both. I mean, it's been a long they time. They say two or three ain't bad. Uh, you're gonna need a new lock on that uh, back door. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh. Because if you want to, you can take it back. Again. Oh, he's worried that he... I'm warming to dad more and more. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the... Cupid Piper. Hi, sorry to interrupt. Glad to see things are working out with you and Dan. What? You have to come home really fast. Will you be hiding this? My ring, and he's going to use it to find all the love. <laughs> so you guys can believe in warlocks and demons, but you can't believe in me. Where's the chubby baby? Guys, in the bow and arrow. Where's the what a cliche. Chins, hook noses and pointy hats? Oh, uh, wow. My ring. It's my pouch. Barry in high school, Tim in eighth grade. Ken, Kyle, Steve, Mike, Ken again. Brian, Joel, Martin. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, you know I didn't love. Eventually he'll kill your ability to love, and believe me, that's a fate worse than so death. So kill outright. Never love again. Oh. Thank you very much. Delightful. You pathetic bitch. Take your damn flowers. Give them to your ex-wife. The bank's closing, baby. You're not laying one finger on this oh guy. Oh, my God. Oh, right? fuck. Oh. I mean, that was only... That seemed like a light of a, a bump there. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hello. Hey. Hey. Nice. Oh, you can't do it when... Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah, I guess she can't use two for the price of one, really. Okay, that was... Did we? It sure looks like it, although I don't know what happened to my ring. Shouldn't have been affected by what we did to Drazi. Well, why did so, we not I, take it off in the first right. place? You're done, you can like, yoink! You know. I'll thank you again later. Wow. That's all it takes. Where can I buy one? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Okay. <laughs> Risky Jack. Why don't we find the table? Are you afraid of loss? 
You know, I swear if you barf up, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. I might just have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can understand why Phoebe might be a bit mm. scared. That was really good. But their message, open your heart, it comes from life itself. Hear it. For mm. my sake. And yours. Yeah, like Spark, in, really. The owners of one of the hottest clubs in town does have its benefits. Well, it it is very easy yeah. to be intimidated with love as well. I mean, we did great today, and now tonight, it's like we're just... Being blessed? Finding a balance in our lives. Nothing bad's exactly. happening for once? <laughs> you're suspicious because you're expecting the bad to happen? Except we're gonna be okay. Except that there still are little secrets. Oh, Piper, everybody has secrets, including Jack and Dan. Yeah, well, unless they're transvestite Nazi war criminals with great facelifts. Okay! I think we've got them beat. I'm not going to give her the third degree about it. No, it's like time just stands still for seconds, and when it starts up, ha! she's like a total different person. Ask her about Very it. specific no, there, Dan. She's what do you wrong. know? Then don't ask. Hey, guys. Our... And see, that's another thing. They're strange guys that always show up at their place. They pop in. They pop out. <laughs> <laughs> like a certain Leo. Oh, no. Like a certain Leo. It's Eric. Strange... Starting to get a little worried there. You're a dick. Depriving of us from happiness. Because you're a selfish dick. Piper still loves Leo. Hey, hey, hey! Drop dead. I can't believe you're still threatened by him. You think I'm an idiot? You think I don't know? Uh, you guys. <laughs> it is an over the Prick! I really don't think that's any of your business. Fine, why don't we just... Someone ought to wipe that smug face off, uh, smug smile off your face. You can have that back. Fine. I'm sure with Leo we'll replace it with something that means more anyway. Probably. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, you and me both. Yeah, well, I'm really... Never hated someone so much in my entire life. Me either. Although I have to admit, some of the things Dan said were kind of true. I do think about Leo. I feel like there are embers of truth for both Prue and Piper. When he said I was on the rebound. Still, it's also weird. I it's mean, just draws the extrapolated them. And having a girl. It hasn't. It can't. Your fear of loss has left you paralyzed. Believe me, I know. Feeling but hopeless you can change and that. oh. You can take the risk and love again. I mean, hey, they don't call it lovers leap for nothing, right? What? Actually, lovers leap was a reference to suicide, Phoebe. Oh. Um. Oh. 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 Fuck. <laughs> Who are you? Messengers. Thank you. So if anything goes wrong in terms of patching things up, you know what they say. Don't Something shoot the messenger. Right. You were good. I was good, wasn't I? <laughs> Speaking yes, from the heart. Hey, it doesn't matter. I didn't mean it either. None of it. Really? Really. Oh no. Shame. Well, he, dead. he's doing that, so sucks to be you, bud. Some ugly things were said tonight, but you can get past that, assuming that we want to. Prue, I know you want to. Listen to Phoebe. Remember how you felt the first time you saw Jack? How would you know? Yeah, I hated him. My point exactly. Opposites attract. But after a while, he started to make smile, didn't he? He made you laugh. Likeness, Look yeah, as well. Remember that. Been there, blew that. Yeah, only difference is the He's ring got... won't be protecting him. Thank you. We should have done this him. in the first place. <laughs> How can you be sure? I can't. I mean, it wasn't his to begin with. But love is a risk. If he's taught me anything, it's that. No. 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 no love no. conquers. Don't mourn me, Phoebe. Remember me, celebrate me, and seek me out. 
Oh, kissed by Cupid. I love that movie. Really? Yeah. Look at Phoebe opening Good her too. heart. No. See, 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 this is... <laughs> Jack's good, though, on that matter, because he said that before, in terms of, like, he was buying coffee. But this is good for Phoebe. She's opening her her um, heart out, really. And it's great to see, because I, I do feel so bad for Phoebe. I mean, I said that last episode in regards to the fact that Piper seems to have an evolution of her abilities. Um... And you have Prue have another ability added on to, I guess, her skill set, really. Um, but this episode makes you really, really sympathize with the fact that she's just been struggling. And honestly, I can understand why um, there is going to be that fear, that anxiety when it comes to look. I've been there quite a few times. Um, history has not been too fortunate, etc. But... I think I'm on the right path now, so all oh, good. Um, and hopefully Phoebe can be, even if you know the current guy she is with um, might not work out. Um, hopefully this episode will be very instrumental in terms of being a developmental point for Phoebe in terms of um, her love life, because um, I mean all these all these gals deserve happiness. Um, Piper especially, but um, yeah, Phoebe um, obviously has been wrecked with a lot of uh, that pain that there is that anxiety, so it's pretty, pretty sad, so, oy. but it was pretty, pretty nice um, to have that focus on Phoebe with this episode, but I definitely do feel like um, this was a nice focus for Phoebe, um, and one that was really well deserved, especially with the last two episodes. I definitely feel like the focus has shifted more to Prue. Um, I mean, episode eight had a nice balance on all of the sisters, um, but I definitely feel like with the fear of water um, and the situation surrounding their mother's death, it was more more so focused on Prue, if anything. And obviously with the last episode with the Miss Hellfire impersonation and the astral projection uh, ability, um, yeah, there was that focus on Prue. So it was a nice ha um, bit of focus to have on Phoebe and uh, the difficulties with her love life, really. And it made you really, really sad for her. And obviously um, over the course of, well, I guess you could say the past season and a half, um, we have seen Phoebe try um, to pursue something with various um, guys, whereas with um, with Piper and Prue, they've been able to, um, well, they have been able to find some kind of um, staticness there in terms of Piper um, and Leo, even though things were a bit on the rocks at times in season one, and obviously now she's got Dan, and you had Prue with... Andy, whereas that was also on the rocks as well, especially with the fact that there was that true spell and Prue couldn't exactly um, pursue something with the fact that she knew that Andy wouldn't really take things well. And obviously um, Jack fits into the equation this season. So I don't think there's a bit of a contradiction in terms of um, Phoebe's fears and um, how she has been... Um, trying to dip her toes into the water into uh, into the waters in terms of the dating scene because it can be very very scary especially with the idea that um there is that fear of um loss really in a relationship that can overwhelm you like you like there can be this feeling deep inside of you that you're ready to take that plunge but there is all these anxieties and fears and and that really consumes you and uh, i think the, the big hurdle in this um situation uh for phoebe was kind of over overcame i guess in a sense i mean like i said we'll we'll see how things fare in future episodes but i definitely um would like this to be a very fundamental episode for phoebe in terms of her being able to overcome that fear in a sense and being able to um being able to um take a bit more faith in terms of love um and it can be very very scary so um 
And I definitely uh, did identify with Phoebe in a sense, um, in terms of, okay, I do um, want, I, I did want to date. Um, but I also um, have that fear because a, a couple of years ago, um, I, I, you know, did that when it came to like, okay, I'm ready to go on Tinder again, etc. And then um, oh, there, there was a side of me that was um, like, you know what, being alone might be for the best because at least um, I can't really be hurt, etc. So, but at the end of the day, um, I'm also a sucker for love. So, uh, thankfully, things um, seem to be um, perfect and all of that So uh, right now. So, um, I, I could definitely understand um, Phoebe's mindset in terms of, okay, she might want to take that... Um, take that chance to find someone but is also very very fear uh, fearful about the fact that people can ditch her etc and um, she could just be uh, thrown to the side that she'll close herself off uh, because I've been there uh, quite a couple of times um, and uh, you know love is a very very powerful thing um, and it can be very scary so I can understand uh, Phoebe's mindset when it came to this episode because um, it is very very frightening to open your heart to someone and um, uh, to risk it getting hurt and I've been there quite a few times where it's just been torn apart and you just don't you just you just don't want to become numb to to love and obviously with Drazi and um what he was doing um that there is that like kind of um idea that um you can risk becoming numb to to love because you think you found the one etc and then obviously Drazi does his magic and yeah and, and it's the same here you feel like in in a natural sense because obviously cupid and drazi they don't exist in the real world but you feel like you found the one and then obviously things do not go your way and it kind of hurts um so I, i've been in that position a couple of times and um yeah it it is a bummer so um and that's an understatement really but like i said um as it seemingly worked out for me um, maybe the same can happen to Phoebe. So um, it might not be with the guy that she was seeing at the end. Um, Kevin, I think his name was. Yeah, it might not be with the guy um, she's seeing at the end. But like I said, this episode could be a very, very great step forward, really, for, for Phoebe. So fingers crossed. But um, yeah, it was really, um, really great stuff um, in terms of um, involving Cupid. And, um, yeah, I think it's very poignant in terms of not just Cupid being the one to kind of help Phoebe um, make a step forward. Because, like I said, with, with Piper and Prue, they've kind of found a bit of um, stability there, I guess you could say. Um, like, you, you have Piper who's happy with... Like, even though things were a bit... A um, bit of a test between... Um, what does she want in, co in in terms of Leo and that fractured and um, she seems content with Dan. But um, yeah, like there is that like kind of stability there. Um, it makes sense, uh, especially when um, Cupid was like listing a lot of names for Phoebe. And obviously we've got a more poignant reason to why. Um, uh, yeah, because of the fact that she... Um, had a heart closed out really but also though there is that very poignant uh thing about um cupid um and and phoebe kind of falling for each other so it, it is quite the compliment uh, i would say to have um cupid fall for you so yeah but um it is it is a it was very 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 good in terms of um a, a phoebe um focused episode and um, just exploring those emotional, um, uh, that emotional side to Phoebe's character. So, yeah. But um, also, you know, having Drazi, uh, basically, what I really like was with Drazi's character was, I mean, obviously, it um, there was a, a, a quite a bit of shit stirring going on in terms of what he was he was undoing, um, love. He was he was ruining it. He was ruining the mood for everyone else. 
So you could kind of expect that Dan and Jack, well, Prue and Jack and Piper and Dan, they would uh, fall victims to Drazi's shenanigans. But there are sprinkles of truth there in terms of um, what he said to um, to those uh, to those two couples. Um, I feel like because I, I feel like there are little sprinkles of um, um, the idea that Piper still has those kind of small sentiments to Leo, which obviously um, I, f I feel like that is I, I don't know. I feel like that is what is wet scenario. Um, so, yeah, but I, I do feel like with what Drazi uh, is doing. It could be so cliched to just spread shit, etc., and cause gossip and uh, just ruin the mood for everyone else. But I think it adds a touch more elegance if you sprinkle in little bits of truth um, so uh, uh, into the matter. And and that is definitely the case, especially with with the whole um, Dan and um, uh, Piper scenario. So yeah, but um, it was just. It, it was just really, really chaotic seeing um, both couples argue to each other, etc. Um, and then you had Phoebe and uh, Cupid uh, try to patch things up together. And it was really good that Phoebe took charge uh, at that moment. Sit on the couch, everyone. So, yeah, as well as uh, the fact that um, Phoebe went to um, uh, went to Cindy and and the way she expressed everything off her chest was, was really, really great. So yeah. Um, but no, I just really, really thought that it was uh, pretty, pretty powerful stuff. I did want, I, I did wonder like why they didn't take the ring off, um, off Drazi in the first place. I mean, obviously the episode would have been a, uh, cut a bit short uh, at that moment. So um, I, I don't know if they were expecting, okay, well, uh, as soon as he is essentially disintegrated, the ring will be left behind or whatever. But I would have just taken it as 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 a precaution. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, it was um, just really, really um, great to see how Cupid operated as well about how uh, there is that spark that is lit and uh, he made that detail about the fact that he knows about the white lighters and the witches and how they cannot get together um, so that came of their own accord really so I find that very interesting um, it's, it's especially when he he did say that about um, Leo and Piper uh, Piper's reaction I found that very very interesting as well because uh, considering how um, there is that little bit of responsibility um, from Cupid's part in terms of creating the 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 spark, I guess, with uh, Dan and and Piper. Whereas uh, I don't know if uh, Free Will comes um, a part in the whole Leo and Piper situation. Um, I, I just say that because of Piper's reaction and the fact that um, he said, well, that was all on you guys, basically, because I know the rules and I'm not intervening in those rules. So, yeah, but I don't know if Free Will um, plays a part in that kind of dynamic between Leo and Piper, but um, I don't know. I, I, I definitely did feel like um, there was a very contemplative, uh, contemplative. I can never say it, but um, yeah, you you could um, see certain, I, I feel like you could see certain gears turn in Piper's head, uh, thinking, hmm, interesting. So, yeah, but, whoo, it was pretty, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty nice to see um, a bit of development for Phoebe's part, I feel, um, because... Um, I, I have been feeling bad for her these last couple of episodes. I mean, uh, last episode, I felt like, um, whereas Piper and Prue kind of evolved spell-wise, I felt like um, there was that little bit of... Um, uh, there was that moment where I just felt so bad for her because um, for Phoebe, it must feel like she's standing still and she even made a little bit of a remark about it in the last episode and in this episode you have uh, you have dan and piper and then you have um jack and prue and there's phoebe so um and 
just learning more about why Phoebe is, you know, why Phoebe's close to self off. It, it, it is very, very sad. And um, for me, definitely relatable. But um, like I said, this is a good step forward for her, in my opinion. So, yeah. By the way, the way that she just absolutely kicked Cupid's ass when he just appeared in the... Um, in, in in the house was just insane. Like, nearly took his head off bloody hell. Um, but to be fair, um, after the confrontation the night before, couldn't exactly blame her. So, yeah. Um, but no, um, pretty solid episode, apart from the fact that could have easily taken the ring off uh, that first time you disintegrated Drazi. But um, no, I really loved the focus on Phoebe in this episode. So yeah, but um, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!